and my heart and you won't use my mind but do what you want my body do what you want with my body ew hey everybody welcome back to two gay mats it's matt steel and it's matt palmer and so today we're going to discuss something that makes me a little sad it's the fact that matt palmer has not been around that much lately because matt has gone out every single day to the gym not every day I well, tried. I can tell. <laughs> he always comes out of his bedroom, and I'm always in the living room, and I'm always like, Oh, Matt, you're, you've come out to play! And he's like, No, I'm going to the gym. And I'm just like, Ugh. I hate it when he goes to the gym, and just as much as I'm sure he hates going to I the gym. I really don't so. like it. I mean, I feel like some people are maybe born with, like, wanting to be at the gym, and, like, feel like that they feel so good afterwards. It's like when people are like, Oh, I run, and they get a runner's high. It's like, Fuck you! No, you don't! <laughs> I've never, I've run so many miles in my life, and never once have I gotten a high. I've been bored, I've been angry, I've been in pain while running, and never once I've been like, ooh, this is wonderful. To me, like, my, like, throat hurts when I run. Really? Yeah. What's wrong with your it, like, throat? My throat, like, burns and burns. I think it's yeah. from, like, breathing. So today we're going to discuss how much going to the gym sucks. As you can tell, we've dressed the part. Yes, look at us. Look at us today. Our little my little my sporty up. Nikes. Yes, yes. This is very much like I wear to the actual gym, but the tank's less cute when I'm at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably gone to gyms off and on since, like, I don't know, early, mid college. Look at you! I know, I'm pretty good. If I didn't go to the gym, I'd honestly be a scarecrow. <laughs> like, there, there would be nothing on my body except ribs. But, Matt Steele has never been to an effing gym in his life. I can honestly say I have never stepped foot in a gym, except for once when I was doing the tour of NYU, my, like, during Welcome Week freshman year, and they were giving a tour of all, you know, NYU campus, and then we walked through the big gym that they had, and they were like, this is the gym! And I was just like, ooh! <laughs> Note to self, never need to come here. <laughs> How could you go your entire life and never go to a gym? Because gyms like freak me out. There's all this heavy stuff and heavy stuff makes me nervous because it could fall. It's not going to fall it's on you. Fall on my foot. <laughs> Oh, I could fall on your foot. The reason I hate the gym is A, obviously, I hate working out. Anyone I, who likes working out, I don't trust. It's like, why do you like this? this is, it's horrible. You're hurting yourself. But people say like, oh, my hobbies are working out. That's like literally saying that, oh, my hobbies are math homework. <laughs> My, my hobby is giving birth. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, like, nobody's. It's not as painful as giving birth, I'm sure. It's certainly not fun. It's not fun to be sweaty. It's not fun. And always, I'm not really much of a sweater, obviously. I'm more glisten than anything. But I get very itchy when I start to, like, begin to sweat. And so I'm in there, like, trying to run or like, do something. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm itching. I'm like, I can't, I can't. I wonder why that is. My throat burns, you itch. Yeah, it's, we're just allergic to <laughs> exercise. We're allergic to exercise. <laughs> what I do with my life counts as exercise. Like, bouncing up or down? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> That counts as exercise. Like, like the past five minutes making this video, I've been like fluttering my feet like this. Like that's burning calories. Why do you do that? Because you know I got a lot of oomph. I got a lot of spirit that needs to be let out. Oh, I'm fast. <laughs> I lift heavy things. Like I lifted these chairs. These chairs aren't heavy. I know, but if you carry them both at the same time, it's heavy. There were I got my weight training in. I sometimes I like to pretend like I'm a ballerina and I leap around the house. I've leaped so much, my legs look great. And honestly, like. There's nothing that you can do at the gym that you can't do. The at difference home. is your body type is different than many people's. If I didn't go to the gym, even if I hopped around, I would look horrible. <laughs> Like, you say it's very easy for you to put on muscle, yes? Yeah. It takes a very long time for some of us to get on any muscle, and when we do, it's a very happy day. And also at the gym, it's horrible because there are some people you go, especially as a gay person, you go, and all these guys, they're lifting weights, they're all big, and they look so good, and you're just like, I can't tell if, like, I love you because I want you to be my husband, or I hate you because, like, you look like this, and you shouldn't be at an epic gym anymore. You, you've done it. Go, you're, you beat the gym. Get go up. home. It's time to go home and atrophy and look like a normal human so you can, like, have another goal again because you peaked this is it like <laughs> so get out so the one the ones of us who still have work to do can get their work done yes go live your life like, you're a, you've hatched fly <laughs> you fly away darling you are no longer a cocoon you're a butterfly butterfly and it's just time to go <laughs> the best thing about the gym for me is i it's a very good place for me to listen to my music very uninterrupted so art pop leaked recently as i'm sure you've all known it's amazing it's amazing <laughs> so i've been like going to the gym every day listen to art pop listen to sex dreams on loop and it's just like and even when i get to the slow songs like dope and gypsy i'm just like she's right <laughs> i always listen to my music because i walk everywhere i also walk 
walk you everywhere. Walk. I say I walk like a good like mile and a half, two miles every day. Oh, that's so like because I just like walking. I'm a New Yorker, darling. Like, oh God. When I listen to my music, I get very very into it. And so yeah. sometimes like if I'm listening to like the Pas de Deux from Carousel, then this. like I like I like get there's so much inside me that I like run for like three blocks. Sometimes I like the music calls for like skipping. So sometimes like if nobody's on the street watching me, like I skip down the street. It's Los Angeles. Like there's gonna be a car coming by at some I point. Know, and you're like, and and then I see the lights and I'm like, oh. Oh no, I'm cool, I'm cool. Mask. I'm cool. don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> One time at NYU when I was at the gym, I made the mistake of, now I don't do this, but I was using free weights to like do, uh, what are those called? I should know this. The, it's yeah. like when you're lying down, <laughs> what are those, and it's like a, no, and it's like a chest press. Chest press? But it's like you're, it's a bench press. Oh, oh. Lord, it took us a long time to get back. <laughs> Well, I was doing a bench press and I was like feeling like I could do it that day and was gonna do a little bit more weight and everything would be fine. <laughs> and I got stuck. You got stuck. I was like to it, it was like my third time through and I just like couldn't lift it up again. And some big guy had to come and lift it off of me. That's mortifying. I was I was a little embarrassed and I have not done a bench press since. I just do the <laughs> machines that you can simulate it and when I get tired I stop. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank and you for letting me borrow your pants. Yes, uh, Matt Steele looks great in his sporty spice gear. Yeah, I made his Mel C dreams come true. Well, thank you, Matt. You're welcome. I'm a giver. I'm kind of like the giving tree. They called me the giving tree in high school. Thank you so much for your time and your energy and your visuals. Um, they called me the giving tree in high school. That makes no sense. That was my nickname, maybe. Uh, follow us on Twitter. It's Matt Palmer. And it's Matt Steele. Subscribe and uh, tell your friends. Pass along. Tell us how you keep in shape and how you're so thin and sexy because we see you. You're looking good. Oh, you're looking so good. Oh, you're looking so good. I see you, Brian Eduardo. <laughs> we will see you next Monday. Bye. Bye. Pop. Oh, and uh, by the order of letting go, it's coming out today. New Mariah singles. Bye.